Charlotte Bronte was born on the 21st of April, 1816, in Yorkshire, England. She was to become one of the most important writers of her time and an important voice for Victorian women. She would bring to the forefront of society the inequalities she faced in her everyday life as a woman and as an author. Having to self-publish her first works anonymously, she was opposed to what she saw as a segregation and sidelining of women at the time, whether it be in the professions, religion or marital standings. Hers was a subtle resistance that had a huge effect on the women that read her work. She was surrounded by tragic deaths and loss from an early age, and by losing her mother and two elder sisters, she was left as the matriarch of her surviving family. Biographers have written that, at the time, the surging spiritualist movement was very appealing to Charlotte. Here was a spiritual endeavour that could give her comfort and greater understanding in her life, without the dogma, chastisement and segregation she was surrounded by. It was a modern faith for a changing time, but unfortunately Charlotte Bronte's life was cut tragically short when she died at the age of 38 while pregnant with her first child on the 31st of March, 1855. Yes. You're very welcome, Charlotte. Yeah, with Emily. You're here with Emily. You're here with Emily. Oh, bless you both. Bless you both. I find this very strange. Do you, yes, I expect you do. We're very glad. We're so glad. Is this Charlotte still? Yes. Yes, yes. dear. I pray that you will forgive me. Oh. I am not very sure of my being able to come and speak at any length to you. Yeah. It is many, many, many years yes. since I was on your side of yes. life. Yes, right. And my dear sister also yes. finds some difficulty in manifesting in this fashion. Yes. yes. So I am somewhat perplexed. Yes, dear. You speak very clearly. You are very good. I do not know if I speak very well or you, not. You do. You, you it do. is almost impossible for me or perhaps anyone who endeavors to talk from this side to be very sure as to whether they are manifesting clearly or distinctly. I am conscious of your thoughts. Yes. Yes. More than I am of the sound. I see. Yes. I think this we are following you, though. is something which applies to all of us. Yes. yes. We are in tune mentally yes. of times with yes. people. Yes. I have been to you on occasions that oh. have never spoken to no. you. No. When you write, oh yes, uh, I'm so grateful. How you... long ago it is since we were on your side? Yes, yes. And how things have changed? Yes, my dear. So much is unrecognizable. Oh, yes, that is true. The parsonage. The parsonage, yes. Yes. I have met so many souls have you? that I had not the joy of meeting no. when on your side of life. No. I have such great affection and regard for Jane Austen, oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, whom we I have too. met here. Oh, yes. how lovely, yes. And I am very concerned 
that I should perhaps still be able in some measure yes. to write and impress others yes. on your side of life. Yes, I see. Many thoughts that are penned yes. in your world. Yes. Though the author may well take the credit. Yes. And justifiably so. Yes. Of time receives from us yes. inspiration. I'm sure. We do not cease to work for the good of others. No, no. Humanity draws us very close I'm to sure. earth. Yes. And when we see, as we do see so often, the tragedies of life, yes. whether they be in a collective sense or national sense, yes. or whether they be in an individual life, yes. Yes. we feel the need and the urgency to assist if yes. possible. Yes. Not that of times we can do very much but we love to come yes. to help and uplift, oh, to wonderful. guide, to comfort. Yes. Though we may stand in the background yes. and say nothing, so it seems, mm -hmm. yet our influence is brought to bear where possible here and there. What a wonderful yes. thought. I have been to your meetings, meetings yes. Yes, sir. and have watched with great interest yes. and hope as indeed do many another soul here that we might be enabled to come and converse at some yes. future time. Yes. Many a soul stands unobtrusively, quietly in the background. Yes. It is as almost like as if we were in the wings Yes. Waiting for the curtain to rise. Yes, beautiful idea. To make our entrance. Yes. When you come here, at times souls are able, for a brief moment of time, converse with you yes. and to show their interest in your endeavours. Yes. To give you upliftment and encouragement, to give you the realisation but even though there may be times when little or nothing is happening, or so it seems, yes. much is being done. Oh, yes. We do accept that, you know. yes. Some of us, of course, might almost be likened unto the scene shifters <laughs> who are never seen, yes. but are very important yes. in the production. Yes. 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 And we do our little part. Yes that the whole might be a great joy to the beholder. Yes. We're so grateful to everyone. Of course it is obvious to you, with your knowledge of these things, that there are times when important members of the company, for some reason or other, are unable to appear. Yes. And sometimes, Someone less known, or less important perhaps in your eyes, must take the floor. Yes, yes. But each one yes. works in love and in harmony. Oh, yes. We are a company, and we are each one serving according to our light. Oh, it's marvellous. We're so blessed. How blessed you two are. How blessed we are. We, we do feel it. We are grateful every day, Charlotte. Apart from your near and dearest, yes, yes. your family, yes. and your very closer, intimate friends, yes. innumerable souls are drawn by the light and the beauty of your group. Because we know of your sincerity of mind and of purpose, mm -hmm. because your desires are such that you wish to help innumerable peoples out of the darkness into the light that you have found. Yes. And therefore many come, because we come in an unselfish way yes. to serve, as yes. you endeavour to serve. Yes. Caruso, who 
that you have such a great affection yes. and admiration for yes. is of times around you. How lovely. And with him, of course, are many great singers of yes. renown. Yes. Many are they who come, who are but names, yes. and yet by the record of their lives yes. you have been drawn to them in affection yes. and, yes. and admiration for their abilities and talents, yes. and for that which they achieved oft times against great odds. Yes, yes. And it is natural that you should expect those who have played a part in your earthly existence. But how much more important in a sense it is if people did but realize there are many souls in this world whom you know not of who have played and do continue to play in the lives of many peoples on earth yes. a spiritual role, yes. a sure. spiritual part. Yes. It has been said in the good book that he shall give his angels charge concerning these. Yes, and many are they who have angelic souls, beings yes. of high order, who were, when on earth themselves yes. perhaps were famous in their own field of activity, yes. and who on this side continue to strive and to serve yes. and to perfect their art yes. and who are drawn back and desire to come to help some soul in their effort, in their desire to achieve yes. some development of their natural ability or talent yes. and they are given instructions and guidance. Sometimes without their knowledge yes. they are helped often in perhaps their sleep state when they are relieved yes. from the material worries yes. and conditions of earth and they are able to leave the physical body temporarily, yes. enter into the spheres of the spiritual realms yes. and receive instruction and guidance and assistance yes. and they are sent back and awakened into the earthly existence on the following morn. In the subconscious mind of the physical body yes. are retained some of these memories which are drawn out sometimes at critical moments yes. when they are most needed often when a person perhaps is fully unconscious or unaware yes. yet in that moment of inspiration as it is called yes. comes forth this something that has been handed to them or yes. given to them yes. in so-called sleep state yes. and it comes out inspirationally we never cease to stop helping yes. whether it is in our own life and condition on this side yes. or on yours yes. we are sometimes in a sense living in two worlds yes. at the same time yes. Partaking of your world in some measure yes. for its good yes. and of our own environment and condition, yes. learning more and more and trying to pass it on yes. to you. So Many of the great peoples of your life, of your world, great in that particular field of artistic endeavor, particularly so, are receiving guidance and instruction and help. Yes. on a moment perhaps of decision where perhaps their whole lives can be changed yes. or the course thereof yes. they are impressed as to which path they should take yes. Yes. and oft times when a person is down and depressed when perhaps they feel loneliness yes. has descended upon them and there is nowhere to turn we are there to comfort them and impress them at the given moment as to what they should do. Yes. And then, like a ray of light, yes. they perceive and they are aware. Yes. And they take up the fight again yes. Yes. in the material world. And battling as they oftentimes do against great difficulty, yes. overcome. Yes. Where there is the realization within the human heart 
of these things. Where there is faith in the power of the Holy Spirit, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible. All things are changeable if those who are endeavouring strive sufficiently hard yes. Yes. to remove the obstacles yes. that of time stand in the pathway. Yes. I know that of time is in my earthly existence. There were days which seemed dark and drear. Yes, and one would look out into the world yes. and see the darkness. And one would be conscious of the needs of the many yes. whose lives were being spoiled, yes. sometimes by their own foolishness and waywardness, yes. and sometimes by the pressures of those in higher places who depressed and subjugated many, yes. who because they had none of the worldly goods or talents were made to do the most mundane things yes. and had little support from any quarter. I remember so well so many of those peoples whose lives were so dull and yes. dreary, yes. who had no benefactors, who had nowhere to turn, and who in sickness had no medical attention, no help. No. no one today in your world possibly can realize the poverty that existed in my time. No, no, my dear. The world in some respects has changed for the better. At least there is not the dire poverty no. and the needs that were so many in my time. No. Many have been helped and you do have, in some respects, a better way of life. At least those yes, whose poverty was so dire, at least do not now starve. No. But there are other issues that concern us and worry us and depress us. I'm sure. And we try desperately to help. Yes. The affluent society, yes. as it is yes. called, yes. Yes. In some respects may well be, but there are still many whose needs are great. Yes. I still continue to write. Do you? Yes. And there are books as yet unpublished. Yes. And one wonders if they will ever be published. Yes. Perhaps not in the material world. No. But the greatest books live on. Yes. Oh, yes. The works that are genuine works of art yes. do not die. No, not indeed. Quite. Whether it is in this or that field, mm. whether it is in music or in song mm. or in writing yes. or in the gift, whatever it may be that is of the soul, yes. of the spirits. Yes. This is indestructible. Yes, of course. Much is written, much is done, which is a little consequence, of course. Yes. And yet, oft times, those who, perhaps because of circumstances beyond their control, have to do the hacking work. Okay. Yet, nevertheless, they give pleasure. Yes. And they give to some encouragement yes. and enlightenment yeah. Yeah. and upliftment yes. and take them away from the depressions around and about them temporarily. Yes. Yes. But even there, there are talents, greater talents, of times untouched, yeah. which can be brought out and used. Yes. Everyone serves according to his light. Oh, yes. The humanity that we seek to reach, that is seeking enlightenment and truth, yes. encouragement and upliftment, yes. may find it in various ways. Yes. And they do receive 
quite often in the medicine they receive a cure for their sickness. Yes. Sometimes the medicine may not taste too good. No. no. But it has a curative power. Yes. And sometimes that which is given in your world, which is accepted without question, which sometimes is taken to the heart and perhaps not to the head. Yes serves its purpose. Yes, yes. We must see all humanity and all life and all works and all endeavours yes. in their true perspective yes. and try to see that those who are struggling and perhaps in a sense have not reached the uppermost rung of the ladder, that nevertheless they have on the way up to whatever rung they may have reached, they have in some measure not only learnt of themselves, but have served in consequence. Yes. Of course, we know there are many who, as the world sees it, reach the topmost rung. Yes. But it is not a very safe ladder. No. And is inclined to topple. Yes. Mm. And they are thrust from the top to the bottom. But he who climbs diligently and sincerely and well, who takes firmly in his grasp the opportunities that are presented yes. and clings firmly to the ladder of spiritual progression, has no need for fear. No. For each rung is a rung which has been built and made by endeavour of sincerity and purpose for good and will never loosen and each rung is a rung that others may climb by yes, yes. that you have left firmly implanted yes. in this ladder of spiritual progression yes. you are progressing slowly but surely yes. to the heights yes. and your endeavors are not wasted indeed the ladder that you have built between the two worlds is a ladder of great strength that others will truly, surely follow. Yes. There will come a time, my dear, when you will write a book yes. and you will be inspired yes. by many souls working in cooperation and harmony and in love together, yes. that you shall be able to do this work. Thank it will you. be a lasting work and will be to some almost like unto a textbook of the spirit. This is something which perhaps in an odd way you have put off. Yes. Perhaps you have felt it was not yet the time. That has been so. But the ch time is not far distant. I see. When you will feel compelled yes. to do this. I see. Yes. It will be a book that will appeal to all men. Yes. Irrespective of class or colour, or creed. Yes. It will be a book that many shall read, and many shall be comforted, and many in consequence shall be enlightened, and shall be given the incentive also to seek that they may find. That's it. Yes, that's it. We shall come with you yes. on this voyage. Oh, we will. You know, I do not think it is possible for anyone in your world to conceive the numbers of souls that gather off times around yes. the peoples of the earth yeah. and peoples that we love and hold in great regard off times we visit them yes. and sometimes even when they go from place to place when you are up in the sky yes. an unheard of thing in my day of course. Yes, of course. we are there yes. We take up no room, no. and we have no fares no. <coughs> that we have to pay for. And I oftentimes wonder with some amusement how little do they know, yes. the peoples of the earth, yes. of our nearness. Yes. And if they did, 
how perhaps differently they might act and think oh, yes. 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 of times. Yes. But we too have lived in your world. Yes. We too know of its problems and its temptations. Yes. We too made our mistakes and yes. did things which we had cause to regret at a later time. Everyone. So no one need fear or to think, as some may well do, that it is a form of embarrassment to realize that people long dead mm. watch over yes. one. Yes. We have a sense of humor too. Yes, I'm sure. And though we may not always be able to influence or indeed alter the course of events or stop a person from doing something that we know full well will lead to some minor or perhaps even major disaster, yes. we can only try to help, but we yes. cannot always succeed. No, dear. But we do know and we do understand yes. the frailties of human life. I'm sure. And in the books that one may write, one may write well of these things, the frailties and the qualities of good and the possibilities that lie even in the worst of individuals. Yes. When we write, we write about the many peoples that we have known. Yes. We may give them another name or a set of circumstances, yes. or set them in a different environment. Yes. But the peoples that we give life to, my dear, yes. they have been and still are yes. peoples in this realm, in this sphere of activity of the spirit, of times perceiving in that which is written themselves. Oh, yes. And even if they have not some made great progress, see, in the writings themselves in such a clarity that they are able to think perhaps mm -hmm. more about themselves yes. and where their faults may well lie ah, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. and changing consequences. Yes. You know many a person has written a book and created a character which on the surface appears to some fictitious. Yes. Though the character may have great reality and roundness, great subtleties and nuances, yes. yet even so, many people think of these characters as fiction. Yes. But often, because of the love in the drawing of the character by the author mm. or authors, by the ability <coughs> that they have to draw on human nature, and experience and of people that they have known they have been able to create a new character yes. with many of the subtleties and the personalities of the past individuals and in consequence these peoples have a life of their own yes. not only are they themselves brought into being by the author's ability to create, but by the subtleties of the realizations of past individuals' lives and experience and aspect of personality and nuance. Yes. But they're able to create realities yes. which temporarily can have a form of life, which can only move within a certain radius, of course of the author's conception yes. and set of circumstances in yes. which the character has its being. Yes. It is possible here on certain spheres, for instance, to enter into a phase of existence or state of being where one can visualize and see in retrospect, I suppose one should say, the acting out of characters created by authors. Really? For instance, also let me explain to you that when thousands and thousands and thousands of people read a novel or a book yes. in which a character is of such striking proportions that the character becomes a living reality to yes. the reader, yes. they create in a mental way yes. this person. Oh, yes. and give it a form of life. I see. 
in a limited sense, it yes, is yes, true. Sense, yes. It is possible, for instance, to enter into a sphere of activity here and enter into, temporarily, a book. Yes. Not in pages no. behind covers, no. but in a visual sense. Really? For instance, if you would like an example, yes. Mr. Pickwick. Yes, yes. yes. And his activities and his adventures. Yes. And the peoples that were associated with him. Yes. Are visual. I see. Here. Yes. But in only a limited area of field. Yes. But once, for instance, a book ceases to be read yes. and the characters no longer are thought about yes. Yes. because people are not reading about the character or the characters. Yes. They they become deflated. Yes. Is the only way I can put yes. it. Yes. While a character is read and many people's millions of people are stimulating the yes. thought forces yes. about this person or persons, yes. Yes. then they have a form of activity of life. Yes. It's not a spiritual existence or anything no, like no, that. No, no. It's merely a mental creative thing, yes. which has a form of existence. Yes. But when a novel ceases to be popular, yes. ceases to have any meaning, yes. no one bothers to read, the thought force yes. is so diminished yes. that temporarily those characters become less and less important yes. and cease to be, have a visual impact. I now, I didn't know this makes sense. Yes, it's, it's not possible to depict or describe this accurately, no doubt, yeah. but it is true to say Certainly, that yeah. all that is created lives yes. in some shape or form. Yes. Everything that is given birth yes. by the power of thought yes. has a life form yes. of its own. Yes. It may have no soul. No, it right. may have no spiritual aspect at all, no. but it can have a visible, visual aspect. Yes. You see, if you can remember and realize that thought is creative, yes. if a character is created in a novel or a book and it is in consequence the book is read yes. by millions of people, yes. they are sustaining it, they are yes. giving it yes. life, yes. they are keeping it as it were in operation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is, I think, what a lot of people have no realization no. of, no. The, the power of thought. Yes. It has been said that thought, the power of thought, the ability from within oneself yes. can remove obstacles. Yes. I think Christ somewhere said, by faith hath yes. made thee whole. Yes. Yes. And it is by faith in yes. the power within yes. that you can overcome and achieve. Yes, I see. One may do tremendous things yes. if you realize the power of your thoughts. Yes. yes. Thought is creative. Thought yes. makes possible all things. Without thought one would not exist. You could not be in any form of existence unless you had the power to think. Yes, I because see. thought is the creative part of man. Yes. It is the power of thought that makes you what you are, yes. makes possible what you can become. Yes, yes. And if you write, then you are creating. Yes, I see. Thought forces are emanating, yes. and they are given a form of substance. Yes. And this substance makes possible the visible. Yes, yes. I don't know. I sometimes think very few people in your world have the realization of consciousness of what all this is about. No. People think of themselves as a human being, physical, purely on a physical yes, level. Yes, they yes. have no realization of the power of the spirit no. and the power of thought, no. the creative power which makes all life yes. a living reality. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I have spoken far, far longer than I had intended. But there are innumerable souls who stand behind me, yes. who impress me often, Yes. At the same self moment of speech, yes. conveying their thoughts into woven and intermingled, you know, people do not realize that, that in a sense, life is fluidic. Oh, yes. The thoughts are fluidic. Yes. That nothing is really lost. 
Everything is there in the atmosphere. Your thoughts are very, very pungent and very strong and very powerful. Yes. And when you write and you put them onto paper, yes. when they are printed and are read by innumerable peoples of all nations, yes. there is a life-giving force there which is so tremendous. Nothing is wasted, nothing is lost. The only, only the insignificant and the things that have no real bearing and no yes. importance fade into the distance and lose themselves. Yes, I see. I wish one could make clear to the people of yes. the earth yes. the great potential that is within themselves, mm. how they could overcome and achieve and what they could do in consequence by faith yes. and the realization of these truths of which we speak. Yes. Truly you two girls are very blessed. Oh, we do. You are so that. blessed. Carry on that which you have been given to do. Yes. Know that you are surrounded by innumerable souls whose love is so strong and so powerful, oh, yeah, yeah. who will enable you to overcome whatever vicissitudes life may bring. Yes. You will be given a strength. You have built within yourself a great reservoir of strength, which will at all times make possible for you the power to continue to serve and to serve well and yeah. to be loved by innumerable peoples on both sides. Oh. Truly you are blessed. I must now go. My right. sister joins me in giving you her blessing, oh. and indeed all here. Yes. May peace be with you, my friends. And Goodbye. Good night, my dear. I have to go, yes. sorry. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry a lot of people would have liked to spoken, yes. but I wish you a very happy time. Thank you. And I'll see you when you come back. Yes, indeed. And help them to have that telephone put out. Yes. Bye-bye. Yes. Oh, dear Mickey.